So I'm really honored here to be uh, at the Lexus TX event with uh, Mr. Naohisa Hattasan, who is a chief engineer for the new Lexus TX. He was also very much involved with the uh, product development of the previous Lexus RX models for more than 10 years. So we're here in Texas, specifically Austin, Texas, to talk about the TX and the driving feel. But I'm more interested in finding a little bit about uh, Hattasan's perspective in terms of how this product was designed. So I'm going to go back and forth between English and Japanese. Hopefully you're okay with that. And then we can then share with you some insight that you might not otherwise hear from other sources. So let's, let's figure this out. So first and uh, foremost, I was just kind of curious as to why the Lexus TX was designed by a Japanese team in Japan versus using some of the North American based engineering, which is in uh, Michigan. And he, he mentioned that first of all, Lexus in, in general is designed in engineering in Japan. And then even though TX is only going to be sold in North America, they want to carry that on and continue to design it, engineer it, and basically do the product development with the Japanese team exclusively in Japan. So the other interesting thing is the fact that um, the Grand Highlander and Lexus TX share many of the components. They're basically not identical, but very similar. And that required um, the Lexus team and the Toyota team to work together because I asked the question whether there was a challenge trying to engineer and design a vehicle for North America, but it's being engineered in Japan. And he says it's not so much that, it's more the fact that they have to co-design and co-develop two uh, different products, one for Toyota as a Grand Highlander, one for Lexus as a TX, um, but both of them required a similar path in terms of the product engineering design, uh, yet they have a slightly different purpose and different goals. So to do that, maybe that's more of a, of a challenge, um, but they were able to very carefully by creating both teams into a singular team. So they both have a chief engineer, but working together and collaboratively one step at a time from design all the way to production, work together in Japan. So that allowed them to, for the first time, essentially create two different products using two different teams, but working together as a one single big team. And that is perhaps unique to this product and something that they've learned from. So I think it's an interesting concept and idea that Toyota is obviously very good at because they have done co-design and co-development and synchronous engineering for many years in the past. And I'm happy to hear that they were able to launch both products successfully. So there's one of the interesting things that's happening is what we call Obea concept, which is a concept that's been talked about for a long time in the context of Toyota production system. And that's when different functionality and different departments come together and work together in the same room. Um, obviously in the past, it would have been the same physical room and these days maybe same uh, remote or virtual rooms. But uh, the idea is that each department to be able to share cross-functionally. But in this case, you know, what Hattasan said is that the concept of VEA has evolved so that each of the functional engineers or people who are responsible for functional areas have to work more than just their area. So for example, if it's an interior designer, they can't just talk about their own area, but they also have to think about engineering, manufacturing, and supply chain that impacts the interior. And so that concept, he said, is the most important part of Obea, which is you work on your area, but you also basically peek into the other functions and other responsibility outside your area so that we all think of this within the context of a singular model or single vehicle design. And obviously there's a Grand Highlander and Lexus TX, both require different design and different philosophy, uh, but they do have to work closely together. So if, let's say an interior designer for TX and Grand Highlander will work together uh, to make sure that they are distinct and different, but also share their ideas together. So the next question I ask, uh, which is important for me, is um, as many of you guys know, in the Lexus factories in Japan, such as Tahara, they're Takumi specialists, people with what we call 25, 30 years of experience, and they're able to manufacture things at the highest level and the highest precision. And so the question was, in, in moving the uh, Lexus production to Indiana for the purpose of the TX, did they have to build and create a new level of thinking um, so that they are also at a Takumi level? And so he said that um, first they got a help from other Lexus plants in North America that includes both the Ontario plant and also Kentucky. They, they already have their own in-house Takumi specialist 
North American bred Takumi specialists, and so they would have coached and trained the people and the team at the Indiana plant. In addition, obviously, some of the Japanese people are there as well. And through tra training and coaching and system sharing, they're able to then create the next level of Takumi specialist for the Indiana factory. And, um, but now that it's up and running and the production is going smoothly, the, the teaching team, if you will call that, have left the site and they are now left alone to work on their own Kaizen ideas or continuous improvement ideas so that the products can get better and better. So last question is, uh, Toyota has recently announced many changes coming up for product development and manufacturing, such as using a gigapress uh, and putting more pieces together into a larger components, kind of following what Tesla has done. And I asked if that is coming down the line. He said, yes, definitely Toyota as a company will more and more adopt those kind of new thinking. Obviously for TX, the design and production is completed now, so it wouldn't impact that model, but in the future, those kind of thinking will come into play. So for now, I want to thank um, Mr. Hatta or Hatta-san for spending some time and also to congratulate him on this beautiful design and a beautiful product called the TX. And perhaps I have a chance to buy one and own one and, uh, and share some of those impressions with you. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.